Welcome back, my awesome math family, to the Mr. Donuts Awesome Math Network. Today, we'll be focusing on converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. On a previous video, we converted improper fractions to mixed numbers, so consider this kind of like a part two. Um, and then we're going to do one operation. We're probably going to multiply a couple fractions following the steps we took that we're going to learn right now. So we're going to start with the mixed number of three and four fifths. Now this is a mixed number. Why is it called a mixed number? I mean, if you look at it, it's, it's a mix of numbers. You have a whole number three. It's the big number. And then you have a fraction attached to it of four fifths. So here we have three and four fifths. And interesting, because sometimes people say four over five, but when they see this, they don't say three and four over five. So let's, our language is important. This is not three, four over five, just like this isn't just four over five. This is four fifths. So together, this mixed number, the mix of them, is three and four fifths. So the first thing I would suggest is to create a new fraction line and bring over the denominator from the mixed number. And in this case, it is five. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to first start with the operation of multiplication. And we're going to be multiplying the five, the denominator, and the three. My light just went out. Can you see me? So this is gonna be three times five. Now. As a nice little step that I like to put in here is I'm going to literally put the multiplication symbol of X. Now, for a lot of my seventh and eighth graders out there, we've kind of we've gone away from that because after seventh grade, you know, you start getting introduced to the letter X as a variable. But for this activity, we're going to use X, the multiplication symbol that a lot of us learn early on in our math uh, careers. So five times three is 15. I'm going to take that product of 15 that I got from multiplying five and three, the denominator five and the whole number three. And I'm gonna like physically place it over the number three. I got a little 15 right there. Can you see it? Look harder. Now I'm gonna take that 15 and I'm going to use addition. I'm gonna add 15 and the number four. 15 plus four gives me a sum of 19. So the mixed number of three and four fifths converts to the improper fraction of 19 over five. And as a refresher, uh, 19 over five is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. Okay, so what I'd like to do is, I'm gonna actually just, just so it doesn't get overly complicated, I'm gonna make a little more space here squiggly line here. I'm going to, I'm going to write, rewrite 19 over 5. And as I want to do in my normal math class, so I'm going to give everyone a moment to just under, like, just really take in what we just did over here. We're not going to rush through it. We convert it 3 and 4 fifths to 19 over 5. Ah, 19 fifths. So over here, let's say we were in a situation where we had to multiply 3 and four fifths times, let's say, uh, I just say two over three. It would be most advantageous to us to convert three and four fifths into an improper fraction. So then we could just follow the traditional laws of multiplying fractions. And we've already done that over here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewrite it because it's not gonna hurt me. I'm gonna write three times five. Well, actually, I'm going to start by rewriting the denominator five. Three times five is 15. And 15 plus four is 19. The multiplication stays the same, and I bring down my two thirds. Now I can just follow the rules of multiplying fractions, which uh, the big action went over with us the other day. 19 times two is 38. And five times three is 15. Now we have 15, actually we have 38 over 15 or 38 fifteenths. I could leave that as an improper fraction, but chances are they would probably want me to convert that into a mixed number. So how am I going to do that? Well, as in video that was posted before this, or just if you haven't seen it, it's, it's, on, my, it's on my channel. I'm going to, again, rewrite my fraction, keeping the denominator of 15. 
excuse me, Jordan 1s, fire. I'm going to ask myself, self, how many times does 15 go into 38 before going over? Well, 1 times 15 is 15, and 15 times 2 is 30, so it's 2. And what I'll do over here in my little think box is just do 38 minus 30 is 8, just to be on the safe side. So my numerator becomes the remainder, which is 8. So there you have it. I had a lot going on in this video, so let's just take a step back. Converted the mixed number of 3 and 4 fifths to 19 fifths. We then were magically given a question in which we were asked to multiply 3 and 4 fifths times 2 thirds. We converted 3 and 4 fifths to 19 fifths. We kept multiplication, we kept 2 thirds, and we multiplied across. Got 38 over 15, and just to be on the safe side, we converted 38 over 15 into a improper fraction. Oh, blah, 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 blah. we converted the improper fraction of 38 over 15 to the mixed number of 2 and 18 fifteenths. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Send me a DM, uh, comment, like, anything you want to do below. And uh, next time, I'll make sure the light is charged so it doesn't die on us, okay? Uh, don't worry, people. Be happy. I found the remote. Bye! Mr. Donuts, awesome map network. It's the, it's the awesome map network. Network, yeah, yeah. Math network.